What's going on, guys? It is Hearts. Going to be breaking down my two favorite NBA player props for tonight's NBA game. Um, going to be breaking them down. I'm going over why I like them, all the good stuff in this video. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Do really appreciate you guys. Uh, we hit 2,000 subscribers last night, so can't thank you guys for enough for all the love and support. It's been great. Uh, looking to get 3,000 by the end of the playoffs. That's the goal there. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Um, check out my NBA DFS slate breakdown for tonight's showdown slate on DraftKings. If you are playing NBA DFS, uh, make sure to check that out. Uh, check out my Patreon link down below, and I will have a PJ video after this. If you guys are PJ DFS players, uh, I've been off to a very, very strong start uh, on the season so far for me personally. So going to start making those videos once again. Um, yeah, hit that like button. And let's get into these two picks. Before I get into the two picks for tonight, just wanted to recap the picks from yesterday. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter at HeartDFS here. Uh, but yeah, we went one and one. So 13 and four the past week and a half. So really, really solid uh, overall total. Uh, but we're still just, I'm looking for that sweep here for today. Uh, but yeah, one and one. Yesterday was, I was livid yesterday. So first off, obviously Brunson hit there. LeBron James missed. We got hooked on that. But for the Brunson thing, um, of course, the first talk of the day was Jalen Brunson points. Like, uh, of course, it was Jalen Brunson. So if you guys saw my pinned tweet, uh, or excuse me, my pinned comment on my video for the YouTube plays, the YouTube picks for prize picks, I, I said, hold off on the Brunson over points and assists. We're about to get his uh, points taco. Take that instead. Uh, so hopefully you guys saw that. But yeah, still, the, the Brunson one did hit. So it, I would have been livid if that one didn't hit. But yeah, he, he was off to a slow start there. It looked like the taco was even um, risky of him to even hitting. But yeah, he really turned it on the second half. He hit that, but that was super frustrating. And then, of course, Le LaFraud James. Lay fraud James. Lay don't get assist James. Lay bum James. It, on Lay Taco Tuesday. I, you're hooked. I can go on a, I can go on a three-hour tilt video about how livid I was last night watching LeBron James. As you see in the tweet, this man had 13% potential assists. You usually get a 50% hit rate. He should have at least six, if not more. It's just... He gets four assists in the first quarter. Four assists in like his first six minutes of playing time. Four. All we needed was six. He, get, he got four. Did not get a single assist the rest of the game until the last minute of the game. I am dead serious. Did not get a single assist until the last minute of the game. He went through basically three straight quarters without an assist. Three. Uh, how is that possible? Lay fraud. He's your goat. This guy, this man is a lot of you guys' goats. Lay fraud, James. It's just, it's wild. I don't even care about the last assist in the, the last minute. Take that away. Give him four again. It's just three straight quarters. This dude did not get an assist. Wild. Wild stuff. It, it was, I was so mad. So, so, so mad. It was so dumb. But yeah, that, that was just super frustrating. Sorry if you guys are not into tilts, but I've never seen anything like that. It, it, it was wild. But for the first pick for you guys today, I'm going to go to Jalen Brown over points as my first one. So we'll pull him up on the board here real fast. If I can type his name correctly. Uh, we'll pull him up here on price picks. Ah, oh, they just bumped it. That is super frustrating. So that's super frustrating. They just bumped uh, Jalen Brown up by 0.5. So... I guess he's still a fine play there, 25. I don't mind it. Um, obviously, he's averaging, I think, close to 27 on the season, if I remember correctly. But let me pull him up. Yeah, almost 27 on the season. Uh, so I guess he could still go there. But uh, I guess the first one I'm going to go to is going to be a risky one here, but I'm going to be looking to Joel Embiid now. No one really knows. Like, the books right now have him all over the place. Like, I'll pull him up. As you can see, a lot of his overs are favored for obvious reasons. Like, He's only at 25 points where he's averaged, what, like 32 points on the season. He's at nine rebounds where it's like he averaged, or nine and a half rebounds where he's averaged uh, 10 point rebounds per game on the season. So it's like a lot of these lines are super, super low on Embiid just because no one knows what kind of minutes he's getting and if he is officially going to play. Now, as I said, he's on track to play. He should probably play, but still there's that small probability that he doesn't play. Uh, but still. A lot of the books have his stuff up, but they just don't really know where to the, like play him at. As you can see right now for points, uh, one book has him at 25 and a half. One book has him at 25. Or excuse me, well, yeah, one book has him at 25 and a half. Uh, your 
a few books, excuse me, I, I can't even talk. A few books have them at 25 and a half. As you can see on Caesars, the, the juice is heavily on the over at minus 129, but then at FanDuel, it's only minus 144. So you can see the odds are all over the place with Embiid right now just because no one really knows what it's going to look like in terms of his minutes, um, in terms of, like, is he going to get double teamed by Boston? Obviously, the Nets were able to really limit Embiid's output uh, in that series there. Boston's obviously a way better defensive team than the Nets, so I don't know. I'm feeling risky, so I'm going to go with it. I'm saying screw it, so... I'm deciding between points and rebounds. I think I'm going to go to his rebounds here at nine and a half. Take the over for Embiid. I think it's like a Giannis situation where every time Giannis got hurt, if he was going to play, like he was going to play his full minutes and give it everything he has. I'm expecting the same thing with Embiid. Uh, a lot of articles are saying it's just more of a pain tolerance thing. And so if he's going to be playing, I think he's good enough to play at least 30 minutes, if not more. And I'm loving his rebounds there at nine and a half. Uh, so uh, I, I think if I had to lean towards one, I think the board... The board does slightly favor his points. They're saying under his rebounds. I don't buy it. I'm going the, the over there. But yeah, points. Uh, the points one is fine. If you go there, don't mind it. As you can see, it's solid odds. Actually, let's switch it. Let's go to the points there for Embiid. We're going to 25. We're taking the over there for points. I think the rebounds is solid as well, even though the board's favoring his under. Uh, but yeah, first pick for today is going to be the over there for Embiid. Play late with these picks. Obviously, we have no idea what's going to happen with Embiid tonight. In terms of if he actually plays, if his what his rotation is going to be like, so just play light on these picks for today. They're going to be a little bit riskier ones. So that's going to be the first pick there. And then for the second pick, I'm going to go into a guy who's kind of struggled recently in the past few games here for Boston, but it's going to be the over there of Derek White's points and assists. As we can see right now, the board is favoring his over there at 15 and a half, 53.5 percent chance of it hitting. Uh, as you can see right now, the juice is, you know, decently on the over at all the sports books right now. Bet MGM minus 125, Caesars minus 123, FanDuel has the, the heaviest juice minus 130, and then DraftKings minus 125. So a lot of people are liking a bounce back spot here for um, Derek White. Let me pull him up real fast. Right there. Uh, as you can see, the minutes are down. Why? He's been getting into early foul trouble the past two games. Uh, so it's kind of limited his minutes. He's not been shooting the ball well, three of nine, one of five. And Brockton Brogdon has got off to super, super hot starts off the bench in place of Derek White. So they've kind of been looking to uh, Brogdon recently over White. Um, and White, you know, it's one of those things. He kind of has these ebbs and flows where it's like, we'll have some bad games here. As you can see, um, 16, 16 fancy points, uh, you know, seven points, eight points, three rebounds, five rebounds, terrible games. But then he goes for 17, 26, 17, 7, 12. Uh, so he just kind of ebbs and flows. So he's on a little bit of a cold streak here. I expect him to bounce back here, uh, find his shot. He's a really good shooter. He's really good at driving the ball. So I'm assuming he gets 30 plus minutes and he's going to shoot the ball probably close to 10 times, if not more. So I'm liking a really, really solid bounce back spot here for uh, Derek White over points and assists uh, at 15 and a half. As you can see on the season, he's averaging 12.6 points per game and uh, over uh, close to four assists per game as well. So. That's what I'm liking there for the second pick for tonight. We'll pull him up here real fast. Go to White. And we'll take his over. Where to go? Points and assists right there. 15 and a half. Boom. Taking the over. Those are the two picks for today. As I said, Embiid is just, no one really knows what's going to happen with Embiid. I think it's just way too low. I think it's like a Giannis situation where if he's playing, he's going to be playing his close to his full amount of minutes. Now, sure, he can get limited, but still, with Embiid, we know he can get to the foul line a lot. So, um, you know, Al Horford, kind of foul prone. Robert Williams is very foul prone. Uh, they'll probably throw Grant Williams on as well. So I like to be getting to the free throw line. I expect him to play at least 25, if not close to 30 minutes, maybe even more. Who knows? So I like that. And I do like Derek White in the bounce back spot here. Those are the two picks for today. As I mentioned, slightly riskier ones, uh, just because it's a one game slate. The board is pretty tight right now. Don't want to like force anything. So I'm going to be playing light on these picks uh, for today. I hope you guys liked the video. Hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video.